This is my interpretation of John Fitch's steam plant of 1786. It's a clever bit of engineering design thinking and yes, as ever, I've had to resort to a few compromises. At the moment, my model propulsion unit is driven by an electric motor, in fact a car wiper motor. At slow speeds, there's an inappropriate and rather unpleasant electronic motor whine. This does not happen at the upper speed range. If tests prove this assembly to be successful, I will build a suitable hull of say 5 to 6 feet in length and install this unit in it. The general measurements of this rowing unit or blades not yet fitted, is 2 foot long, 14 inches high and about 10 inches wide. And that electric motor will be enclosed by some suitable box shape. And then a smoke generator will also be installed. Wish I could find one that produces black smoke. Anybody any realistic ideas on that? Then later on if that proves successful, I'll try and fit that Stuart Turner D10 steam plant. People with more experience tell me it should be plenty powerful enough. Okay. 